hey y'all so here's my pencil stanchion set tutorial um first you want to order a stanchion set i got mine from amazon but you can get them from pretty much anywhere then you want to get some red rust-oleum spray paint although i like this brand as well to also get some pink gray and tan cardstock as well as some premium black vinyl you'll also need yellow paint graphite paint and a permanent marker if you don't want to use graphite paint then you're going to cut your pink paper and your silver paper if you're using vinyl then you would cut those and attach to the bowl then you want to start working on your Cricut cutting um, this is the image that I use if you don't have a Cricut you can definitely buy some pre-cut letters from like Michaels or any other craft store um, I did size this to 5.44 inch width so that I could fit all six of these on one 12 by 12 sheet and not waste any vinyl because I hate wasting vinyl um, now I'm just making sure that I'm consolidating the sheets again so I don't waste any vinyl um, and then you're gonna connect to your machine and Make sure your material is set to vinyl and start cutting. So once all your number twos are cut out, you wanna start weeding them and then use some transfer tape like I'm using here to attach it to the number two and remove the backing so that you can then attach it to the pencil like so. Next, you're gonna start working on the top of your pencil. So you wanna take a piece of your tan paper and twist that into a cone like so. You want to tape the edges with some tape and then cut off the excess on the bottom and start cutting your jagged edges. They don't have to be perfect. In fact, the more jagged they look, the more they look like a pencil. Then you're gonna wanna get your permanent marker ready or your graphite acrylic paint ready, ignore my son in the background, and start painting your pencil tip um, or coloring in your pencil tip. Again, you wanna make like the bottom a little bit uh, jagged so it looks like a real pencil. You don't want it to be a straight line and it should look like that when you're done. Next, you're gonna start working on your pencil shaving. You wanna make another cone, but this time you cut off the tip and then cut off the excess again. Um, once you do that, you open it up and you'll start cutting your jagged edges onto the inside like so. And then you wanna take the inside part and color it in with your black marker or your graphite paint. You then want to take it, spin it around, do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, the more jagged it looks, the more like a pencil it looks, so it doesn't have to be perfect uniform um, triangle that you cut out. It can just kind of be um, a little bit random, different sizes, different shapes, etc. Once you go through and cut out all the triangles um, and remove any excess, it should look like this. And then you want to take your cadmium yellow paint and start painting around the edges. This will give it the pencil look that you're looking for because obviously when you get pencil shavings, a little bit of the yellow from the outside of the pencil is still attached. And once you are done, it should look like this. Next, you're going to assemble your stanchions. Um, as you can see, there's going to be a hook and a top piece. You're going to stick the little hook into that slot and then the top into that slot and you'll have your stanchion. Okay. Then you're going to take your base and paint it. I recommend sanding it first so yours doesn't chip like mine did. Then you will assemble your poles. You can attach the top and the pencil shaving with some double-sided tape. Add your chain and you are all done. Hope you guys like it. Make sure you follow Imagine That Event Designs for more party ideas.